welcome to Obermatt. We discuss here the stocks that we buy. I do this together with my wife because now we started with US stocks and she's American citizen. The idea of these videos is that we show you how we discuss and pick stocks, which helps you decide how you can do it. So it's mainly educational. The things we discuss here are not really stock tips. These are just our decisions. So I welcome Candice Chang again with me and uh, you pick the US stocks and uh, right now you want to tell us about your latest picks, right? Yes, thank you Herman. I, so I invested in three more companies over the last uh, few weeks. Um, they are LabCorp. This is another diagnostics uh, company, Lab Diagnostics, uh, Nextera and also RockTech. Okay. Interesting. Three companies. So we're going to go through them. So the first company that you invested in was LabCorp, right? LabCorp, yes. LabCorp. Yeah. Tell us about it. Tell me about it. <laughs> so, uh, well, um, when I was thinking about which stocks to invest in, uh, I am very interested in the health sector. Uh, I think given the pandemic, this is something that's top of mind for everyone uh, every day. Uh, and I had already invested in um, another diagnostics uh, company called uh, Quest Diagnostics. And when I was looking, I saw uh, that there was this company called LabCorp, which I also thought was very interesting. So I've been looking a lot in the health sector, um, telemedicine, diagnostics, uh, a few areas that I found interesting. And when I was looking for other stocks, um, I came across... LabCorp, uh, I saw the Obermott ratings. Um, I saw that for LabCorp, it, they had a value rank of 45, uh, a growth rank of 79, uh, and a combined rank of 91. And I, I really liked that combined rank of 91. Uh, when I was looking for stocks last time, I focused a lot on the value ranks, uh, really looking for the value companies. Uh, and the other three were sort of complementary to the value rank. This time, uh, what really caught my eye was this combined rank of 91, because as we discussed in one of the last videos, this combined rank, it's not, a, it's not an average of the other three ranks, but it's really looking at all of the different factors. How does this company compare with others in, um, uh, uh, compare with its peers? And I really like this idea that it's, from an all around perspective, it seemed one of the, the leaders in, uh, in its field. And it makes a lot of sense. I mean, when I dis designed the ranks, I realized that there is always a trade-off between value and growth. So you cannot have a company that is cheap, good value, that grows a lot, you know. Uh, so I decided we have to find a way of balancing those two aspects. And then, of course, uh, you know, we had experiences with Enron, remember, <laughs> long time ago, uh, that were really bad. And I remember that it was actually possible to see um, the risks uh, when you looked at their balance sheet. And there were already signs that they were overstretched, which means that their financing was not that safe. So I you know, also added the safety rank, which gives you an understanding of how much risk is this company taking, taking financially. So not from the product side, other were the people they hire. It's really about how risky are they by taking debt on, onto the company. And when you have three ranks, you know, it's not that then straightforward anymore how to rank them. And that's when I developed the combined ranks. I think it's a really good idea, especially if you go into such a hot topic as telemedicine, to look at the combined rank, because you're not going to find a lot of good value companies there because their value is in the future. Yeah. This is definitely true. When I, I mean, I was looking for a lot of the value companies, but now with the markets as they are, there aren't so many. Um, although, relatively speaking, there must be. Uh, so I think for me, LabCorp was one where the value rank was not too low, uh, but the combined rank was there. And also from a business perspective, they are involved in the diagnostics. They had just received um, a mandate from the CDC in the U.S. to do a lot of the testing around the new uh, and emerging variants. Uh, so that was something that I found really interesting. I have to say that when I first looked at the company, I thought that they were much more focused on just on the evaluation of the tests, but I also see that they do a lot of tests themselves. They create a lot of tests, not only for, um, for, for coronavirus, but also in many, many different areas. And they, uh, are, they have a wide segment base, they have a wide range of tests that they cover, um, and they also have different applications 
within the health um, industry. So they also have a certain telemedicine uh, part of their business that helps to enable telemedicine. So I really like that they were not only involved in the diagnostics, but also in other aspects of, um, of healthcare. Yeah, that's a very good consideration because at the end of the day, the ranks that I calculate based on my uh, knowledge as an economist, they're only, you know, they're only a reflection of reality. They should make understanding the financial numbers easy, but that doesn't make it a good decision. So looking at the company as you did right now is exactly what should be done by an individual investor. And you gave a couple of reasons why LabCorp uh, is, is an interesting investment. I hear they're about testing, but not only testing, right? Right, yes. I they're, like that they're in a few different areas of healthcare with telemedicine. Telemedicine is something that interested me. Telemedicine, yeah. Testing uh, and what else? Uh, well, that's, that's about it. But when okay. it comes to testing, they are doing testing for healthcare providers, for pharmaceutical companies, so, you know, uh, or biopharmaceuticals. So really any kind of testing, whether it's diagnosing um, a, a particular person uh, or also, you know, evaluating uh, t um, uh, the effectiveness of, of new and upcoming medicines. I like, about, I like that a lot. We have a company in Switzerland called SGS. And they basically do only tests, you know, all types of quality tests and certifications. And the good thing about this type of work is that it's recurring. You know, you have to do tests all the time. And, you know, it's a very stable business uh, when you invest there. So I really like that aspect from an economic point of view as well, that uh, they're, they're not uh, only a proprietary technology company, which, you know, may be a technology that is hot or maybe a technology of the past, they're also a service company. Yeah. And service companies tend to be a lot less riskier. So when I look at the current uh, macroeconomic environment where I feel a little bit you know, scared about the level that the assets have reached right now, I think investing in a service company, especially in healthcare, will probably be an investment that is going to fall less in case of a crisis. Mm -hmm while still providing a decent return if the crisis doesn't arrive. Yeah. I think there's one other thing that uh, I liked about LabCorp that I saw, uh, I think, on, on their website and here, is that they were also called out for a certain amount of innovation. So I think that within their industry, they are one of the companies that does seem to be pushing more for new innovations. I think they were called out by... Uh, I think uh, Fast Company or one of the yeah, other, okay. yeah, as, as one of the top companies yeah. in, in, from an innovation yeah. perspective. That, that's important. You have to go to a third source because everybody calls them, if every company yes. calls themselves innovative. But if you see it on Fast Company, that's, that's probably already a, a, a review, a, a third opinion. Yes, absolutely. Is there anything else on the website that you want to point out that you've seen, that you found interesting? Um, not at the moment. Not, not at the moment. Okay, so it's basically... A company, a lab corp, that makes sense from what they do, testing, and what was the other? Telemedicine. Telemedicine, yeah, makes a lot of sense. That it's really hot right now, and has surprising, surprisingly good uh, ranks, yes. especially in the growth, uh, safety, and combined area. Of course, is not cheap. You know, the the value rank is a little bit below fifty, but that doesn't mean much. I mean, it basically means it's average priced. So it's not right. one of the companies that has a lot of hype in that area, in this industry. And, you know, from an econ in economic point of view, I like it that it is a service company. I think it's a good decision. I like that uh, decision a lot. I mean, what I found is that uh, telemedicine is something, is an area that I was looking into very, uh, very closely. And what I found difficult in telemedicine is because it is an emerging area, you don't have uh, a lot of companies uh, first of all, a lot of publicly traded companies. Uh, second of all, companies where you have over Obermott data. So there were one or two companies where I, you know, that weren't covered, uh, probably because they don't have um, a, a very long history. Uh, and so I think that to be involved in an air, in industry that's emerging is sometimes dif difficult. So I was looking at some of the companies that are already established that are moving into those areas because looking at pure plays and telemedicine is very difficult to find uh, or to decide for just one company. Okay, yeah. That's true. Uh, for Obermott ranks, uh, we need a certain history so we cannot list the companies right away. That's true. 
And especially when the companies are quite small, we are hesitant of calculating our ranks. Having said that, we just extended the peer universe uh, by 4,000 companies, which means we, we don't, you know, we used to cover about 10,000 companies. We are covering now almost 14,000 companies. So a lot more companies only recently have gone on the, on the web page. And I think uh, you might find a lot more ranks even in the telemedicine area right now, you know, as we speak. Yes, yes that's a very good decision. I like it. Yeah.